mean, I have worked with celebrities. I worked with Jay Goody for a while, and she would be the first to say she had no talent at all. But I'd know that in the last year she was alive, she was responsible for saving hundreds of lives of young women because of cervical cancer and what you know we were able to get out there. Um, I think that it's important that you, know, you, you understand that celebrities are created by the media um, because it sells. It sells magazines, it sells newspapers, and virtually every, particularly tabloid newspaper now, has got you know, um, well, at least a couple of pages of celebrity gossip and tittle-tattle. It isn't something that I'm actually very much involved with, and I never have been. Um, I mean, one of the reasons, simply, is that celebrities couldn't afford to employ me. So it's as simple as that, Rose Simon Cow can. Um, as to talent, well, of course, that's open to interpretation. To me, you know, Jade Goody had a wonderful talent for being herself and saying, I'm ignorant, but I'm going to make sure my children have a wonderful education because I never had the chance. But it's so important that they have a wonderful education. That, to me, is talent. Um, you know, I'm dying because my hospitals miss something that they should have seen, but don't let it happen to you. That's real talent. The ability to put other people first and say, I'm not going to sue the NHS, even though they're responsible for me dying because of their blunders, because that's money that would come from ordinary people. And I wouldn't want to do that. That's real talent. Um, with regard to you know, Sinatra and Brando and people like that, um, talent you, you know, is, is open to interpretation. Muhammad Ali was very talented, um, you know, as a fighter. O.J. Simpson as a footballer, was one of the greatest American footballers ever. Um, but I think that it's it's purely if you if you were to um, say to newspapers, magazines, you, you know, not to write about, and obviously, you know, we live in a democracy. Why shouldn't we? Then it would quickly collapse because they feed off each other, and newspapers, magazines, the girly magazines, have to create new all the time, because it sells. So they have a, you know, a shelf life of a year, or two years, or six months, or you know, in Katie Price's um, position, several years. But I think it's important that to people to realize you know, that they, they aren't people with talent, um, because the damage is exactly what you said, that you've got young kids at school thinking, well, I don't need to work, I don't need to study, because they're making a fortune and they're very happy and successful, and they've got absolutely no talent at all. But that's, you know, that won't change because it suits the system. You know, the media feeds off it, they feed off the media. Uh, so as long as that system works, then it will continue. I just think it's important that, you know, whenever you get the chance, and I've been, I've been asked about celebrities all my life and said the same thing, that there's a lot of people that are famous now that have got no talent at all. Generally speaking, in the 60s, 70s, 80s, when I was building my business and career, people had real talent. Um, you know, whether it was sport, whether it was entertainment, whether it was... But, you know, obviously we all know that that's changed, particularly in the last 20 years. Personally, I think it's very sad. Uh, because I think it kind of devalues everything. And, and also it devalues those that have got real talent. You know, I know how many people can't get on because the opportunities have been taken by people that serve a purpose. But, you know, that's the system.